Hello, how's everyone? Welcome to Dance Without Music. Uh, X Men Physics. Okay, because I added on that title because that's where it's going. Um, <clears throat> X Men Physics. Dance Without Music. Um, X Men Physics. Okay. Um, I always knew that it was going in that direction. That's why I, I just added more to the title. And now we're in the fourth year. Um, the only thing I can say, because I don't go back anymore now, I'm pretty much not going back at all. Um, this is the fourth year. And anybody who went to college or any university, they know if they step inside of a class, in the fourth year, they know what to expect. The only thing I could say is that um, see the videos from the beginning. You have to start from the beginning. It's not some kind of trick. It's not that I'm trying to, although I could, I mean, if it happens naturally. Um, I'm not trying to get people to view me. I'm not trying to do anything. I basically wanted to teach something because I'm older. I mean, you just want to help out people that, um, you know, that you learned in your life. At least I'm that type of person. Um, the difference in me is that um, I was always far behind, okay? I didn't do very, I mean, I, I passed college, I mean, I passed um, high school and everything, and I went to college right after high school and I couldn't do anything. And then later on in life, in my 40s, I was able to go back to the university, back to college, and do very well. And one of my advisors said, um, you're going backwards because he noticed that um, because I went to college right after school and I tried to take college again um, in the 90s okay and um, I started doing better and better <laughs> so it was to him he was going like you're going backwards okay so and I graduated at 53 so um, I was I, one thing I that I like about it is that I'm able to um, relate to, you know, a younger um, audience because they helped me out when I was in um, when I was in college. They were very nice to me, and I did very well. I mean, I took the language. They have all these courses you could take if you're older. You kind of like skim through, but I didn't, couldn't skim through because I took a language. And language, just just no way that they can help you. You just got to do it and that's it. Okay, so now I'm back. I'm taking my time with this. I mean, I always take my time, always relax because you need to know all the information. Now I might use numbers, although you have to understand everything before this class. It might be interesting, it might become very interesting, yes, but in order to do the things, I make sure that you, that you have to go through all the years that, <laughs> that you missed. And it's four years, but it takes longer um, because the only thing about it is, is I was doing this at a very young age. I started when my sister, I can honestly say I started when my sister brought home a shorthand book. And it kind of messed me up in school, but um, it just triggered something. I mean, like, uh, we were doing bass, and, I, and they said bass, and I understood the concept that one little stroke One little stroke was um, was a bass, you know what I mean? Was bass, you know? And I would pretty much stay on the beginner section, but it triggers something that I continually, continually um, studied this um, way of thinking, the way the mind works, you know? 
And I think it's because I was able to catch on at a very young age and I continued on through my life that I'm able to bring to you um, Dance Without Music, X-Man Physics, okay? So now getting in, this is still precision. So if you deal with something pre precision and you're talking about, like I said, we don't really use anything that has to do with the body. And I don't have to explain anything because everything's in all of the videos already. So we're dealing with powers, nothing weird, okay? Um, powers, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't explain, okay? The only thing I want to say for those who have just, a lot of terms might seem pretty weird, but I use the terms, it's like a new language, okay? I use terms that we are familiar with in order that you, that um, those who are in the class can understand so we can relate. So that's why I use certain terms. The weird terms are, are maybe powers, but powers are, I'm still explaining, but just to help people out, I don't want people to be weirded out. Powers are things that we deal with all the time, but we don't pay attention to them, okay? And you just have to go to the back. I mean, the class survived for four years already, and it's and it's still going on. I get very low. I I was getting very low views, but I I don't expect to get that many views at this stage in time, as far as this class is concerned. Um, I was going to talk about views also. Was I going to say something about views? Uh. No, not really. So I really want to get into it. I mean, I, I just got off work, really. We're doing the Michael Jackson dance, okay? I'm in a section, but if you notice, in the beginning of the class, it was like four, I mean, three years ago, we're in the fourth year, but I can say literally three years, I think it's around three years ago, how we did step, 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 okay? Now that we we know about the control, we know about the powers, we know about all, we know about the um, hydrogen X, okay? Now we can get into, um, you'll see it, see, it appears that one step, well it doesn't appear, but it's the honest truth, one step means a lot. One step, you could do maybe 10 things, okay? And this, if they had this Dance Without Music, X-Men Physics, they could actually um, copyright dance steps, okay? Or dances, or the Thriller would be copyright written, but you know, they don't have copyrights on dances, so sorry for now, okay? But later on in life, they will. Okay, so now, what I'm gonna get into is measurements, and welcome back to Dance Without Music, X man, I put man physics is because you have to do it. Um, you'll understand because it's pretty much your universe that you're dealing with, okay? So I want to start with measurements, okay? I'm going to talk about all the terms that we already associated with, okay? For those who already know. Okay, now, what I wanted to do is, um, maybe this should come down lower, I don't know. I wonder what would happen if I brought it down, if I brought the, um, I mean, like, right now when I'm speaking, I guess I don't really have to, okay? But I noticed, I just want you to see more, but we know what we're, t what we talked about seeing and everything like that. I do want to say one thing, interfaces. Um, since we're back, I mean, I'm talking a lot, but it's important. And everything that I say is important. That's one thing that, that's one reason why I don't use any, I don't edit things out, because you might miss something. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, I want to talk about interfaces. One thing that got me interested one thing, no, I didn't say got me interested. One thing I always worked on was interfaces. And interfaces is going to help you understand the concept of dance without music, especially X-Man physics. 
Um, I'm going to show you what what I term as an interface. Like I said, we we bar we we, we take in um, vocabulary that um, that we use all the time for this dance without music X man physics. Okay, um, an interface is something that triggers something thought um, questions. I used to, first of all, one of them, I mean, maybe I'll tell you three of them, and this will help you out in understanding what's happening in the class, because I know there's going to be people who, who just entered the class, but it also is going to strengthen those who already know the class, and I don't think I've ever talked about interfaces. An interface is, okay, you remember in a matrix, and fantasy is important, because I remember when we didn't have the, um, the flip phones, okay? And now we have flip phones. We just see them all the time in Star Trek. And we, it was just like something futuristic. So, that's why I use a lot, you know, movies and things like that. That can actually happen. So, um, remember in the Matrix, <clears throat> when they saw the cat and the cat did something? And they go, that means something, okay? Okay, it's something like that. It has nothing to do with that, but it's a, a interface is something like that. Um, I used to... Um, interfaces that I'm going to explain to you trigger things to help me learn more. Like, um, what was my basic one that I wanted to talk... Oh, when I was walking. When I would walk, and I would say, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just walking. I want to walk, and I walk, but I don't know what I'm doing when I walk, okay? That's an interface, okay? You're walking, and you don't know exactly. You don't feel, I'm not going to say gravity. We don't, we don't believe in gravity here. Go back to the other thing. The weight. Um, I don't. They talk about weight. I don't feel the weight like weight. I don't feel the earth moving. I don't feel um, things that I should feel like when I lift something, okay? Or when I lift this or something like this and I want to put this here and I want to put this here. I, okay, and that's what I didn't understand. That was in my subconscious mind. But I didn't want it to be subconscious now that I look back at it, okay? But that's an interface for me. Another interface, I used to watch cars. And I would go, well, that car is there, and it's moving there, and it was there, and it's moving there. And, and then two cars. But it's different looking at one car than it is looking at two cars. And how come I can look at, when I look at one car... I can keep looking at one car, but then the other cars, what about the other cars? That's what I call an interface, a question, something that you notice that doesn't go along with what you're seeing, okay? Um, because like when you look at it subconsciously, it's just you don't even worry about it, you don't even think about it, okay? So that was an interface too. Another one is, oh, closing your eyes, okay, like, I'm here, and I close my eyes, and everything is, is not there anymore, you know what I mean? And I open my eyes, and everything is there. That's an interface, okay? What I'm saying, it triggers something. It triggers something, why? I mean, um, I can walk around, I can still walk around. And then I could, you know, like, a, you know, someone that's blind. But it's still a slight interface. And um, if you're in an elevator with somebody, okay, you're in an elevator, that person is there and you're here, okay. Then you leave the elevator and that person is still where they are. It's not there. I mean, it's, what I'm trying to say is if a person is here and I'm here, that person is there, but I still see them. So that interface is like sight, okay? But it cuts off because you're just seeing. And then you can touch them also. So that's another interface.
So those are the things that trigger and I strengthened in order to, I guess, come up with Dance Without Music, X-Man Physics. Now we're gonna work on the measurements. Like I said, I was wondering if I put this down and then, um, and then go back. I'm almost sure it will work better. But you don't really have to see. You could, you, you could, you know, like we said in other classes, what I'm doing on the bottom, on the, on the back. Now we got to go over the measure. We're doing measurements now. Remember the retro say. There's a retro say. Then there's a space. Okay, we're not talking about rooms. We're talking about from the retro say, there's a space from the retro say down, which we would call down, okay? But it could be, let's, when I say down and up, I'm using it only for communication practice purposes, okay? I'm also going to use numbers, but those who have been along in a class, they know that I don't use numbers. It's gonna slow you down, okay, if you use numbers, but it's gonna kinda like slow the whole class down. I mean, your progress down, unless you understand everything beforehand and know that I'm using numbers for people to, to get views, okay? Because some people can't understand without numbers, okay? But in Dance Without Music, X-Men Physics, there's no numbers. But you have to associate yourself with all the back information of, that I put in three years before, okay? Now, but I'm going to use numbers because, in mathematical terms, because I need, I mean, with YouTube, you have to do things a certain way. You need as many views as possible. I'm doing it, that I'm doing for views. I mean, not so much, I'm doing it for views, but their interest, and then they could go. But everybody who knows about the class, you know we don't use numbers. I'll show, I'll, I'll make it clear how I would say it without the numbers also. So now we have the rat, we have the retro say which goes from the retro you already know the retro say and then it goes down. We're dealing with the space. Remember, in order to move we need space, as we said before. Then we have the first floor, okay? In between the first floor we have space. So we have the first floor and these are measurements, okay? So we have from the retro say up, we have the space be in between the retro say and the first floor is space. That's a measurement, your measurement. Then we have the piso. I'm not sure. Yeah, piso. From the piso to the first floor is a space. From the first floor to the piso is a space. So that's another measurement. Then we have another measurement from, from the piso to the story. Okay? And in between that we have another space. Okay? Then we have tools. Okay? The only one I want you to really worry about now is we're gonna do two. It's a shape, but we're not gonna really, we're just gonna use it as a shape for now because we have to, it's really more advanced. But this like this, when we do this, when we, we have a baseball ball, baseball, because I'm gonna use it, because the dance puts everything together with the interest, okay? That's the only thing we use a thriller dance for, is to, to, to draw interest and it's kind of like an um, aggregate for the class. So we're not going all over the place, but the Thriller Dance has everything in it that we would talk about for, um, for um, um, X-Man physics, okay? I got the term from X-Men, okay? Because they have to know, they had to know the physics, okay? And 
it's going in that direction. You'll be able to do things that are not possible now with education and understanding, okay, and knowledge. So the only thing we're going to use, now we have the measurement, I told you the measurements, then we have the tools. The only thing from the, the only thing I'm going to add is, um, okay, so we have the measurement from the piso to the story. And then from the story, we're going to call it for now, um, attic like in the attic okay anything up is the attic okay and then we're gonna because we're gonna have to do this we're gonna use the balls we're gonna call this ball ball shape but I'm not gonna get into it because it's very advanced okay but we can use this like this okay and when we reach up that's the attic too but as far as we can go up is the attic Anything that we can't reach is the roof, okay? So, in order to make a measurement, I need to make a measurement, okay? And these can be kind of changed. I'll change them a little bit if I didn't already. So, we have the story to the attic. And that's something, that's something neat. Because on this one, I named the space, okay? From the story two okay so from the story and everything it and the attic is actually a space whereas I didn't name the spaces before I just named the marks okay so this is the story then the only thing I have is the roof okay so if I did a space anything any space from the story to the roof that you cannot reach is a space and it's called the attic, okay? And that's the only space that I named, okay? So you have, this is space, okay? Um, anything in here is space, okay? So that's the only space, if you notice, that I named, okay? And remember, you need space in order to make movements, in order to have, um, now we gotta see uh, this other, this other um, vocabulary words. Um, the other, okay, we have the coordinates, okay? So anyway, we, we, I had to get that because we're gonna use coordinates. Okay, now, so now though we got, that's one thing, that was the measurements. Now, remember when we were walking, okay? In the previous one, we were walking, okay? But in order to have space, okay? In order to dance, any dance, if you look at the floor, as I told you, you can close your eyes and the floor is not there. So we can't use what we see as part of the dance, okay? We have to, and this is in the former videos of precision. We have to form a um, a floor, okay, our own floor, okay. So, um, so uh, we were using, and this is already done before too. We were using, um, uh, we were using. I'm going to use numbers for like I said, for interest. Um, in the previous videos, we used um, um, radicals, okay? Radicals. In here, a radical is like one, two, three, four. In the boxes that you see, two squared is a, is a radical, okay? And it's four, it's um, radical four, okay, I think that's the way you say it, but you have the radical sign and then you have four. We would not, we would just say radical, radical, ah, 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 okay, for those who, who know and who follow everything, it's radical, ah, 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 okay, and in order to make the radical, ah, 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 you have to have two squared, okay? And remember what I said, it was really, ah, uh, 
Okay, yeah. Ah, 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 in a square. Now, we're going to do something as far as speaking, but we're gonna we're gonna form it into like a drawing language, okay? I've also have knowledge in sign language. I'm gonna use that ability. So we got over those measurements. Now what we're doing is because we have to do a part of the dance, we need a floor. And we talked about this in the former ones to where we did all the squares. We use five squared. Remember, I don't use numbers, but you have to go on the back. I'm using them and it's gonna slow you down if you use them, but I mean, it's just gonna give, it's gonna slow us down, but we have to use the numbers for now. But if you can do it without the numbers, which is easier, but not easier if you're stuck to the numbers. But at this point, you shouldn't be stuck to the numbers. But anyway, five squared, we use five squared. And I formulated a, a floor, um, that in my mind, okay? We didn't walk seeing, we used a formula. And in the floor formula, we had um, five squared. And we would, um, we played with that, you know, like how it looks. And oh, there's one point I wanted to make, it's like drawing, okay? We're gonna use a little bit of sign language. One of the sign language is going to be um, corner, 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 okay? Corner, 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 corner. I, I, I got it. Okay, I'm going to hold that corner, 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 corner and finish this book, finish this little review. And we did the five squared and we walked in the five squared, but every step we had was a function. And we call it a function because it's in, it, internal. Your mind makes it up. Um, which is going to be an advanced thing too. We're going to call it a user, a using, or something like that. But I'm not going to do that today. So anyway, we did that and we were able to make a pattern, walk through the five squared, which is the radical, but that would be, I think it's radical 16, okay? Um, radical sign and then 16, okay? No. It was a radical sign and then and 25, okay? So it would be radical 25, which is, which is five, okay? But, okay, so we're not gonna worry about that right now, but what we did is five square and we walked through, we call it completing the square, but I was not able to do it. One thing I wanted to do was I wanted to do this class <laughs> But just relating to you to help you out for the future. But it didn't work that way. I also got involved. I can't do it without me doing it. Because I started processing and I was just explaining to you so y'all could do so many beautiful things. But it's not going to work. I have to I have to do the pro I mean I have to do it because I started processing one thing about it is, it's like when you're, and we finished the, the um, I finished talking to you about the um, five square. We finished the five square, the five square. It was like, a, you know, we, it was in our mind and I would walk from one square, one space, and inside the space we did the function to get to the next space. So that's finished. We already did that in the back. So now I'm speaking about I wanted to go back to where I was speaking. I mean, then I wanted to go into the radicals. Okay. Okay, now I want to go into the radicals, but there's a point that it's going to come. Okay, so now we're into the radicals. There's one point that I wanted to share with you. Oh, and I did it and I, and I put it aside and I said, I'm not going to forget this. Um, it's going to come to me, I know, because I've been doing this YouTube so long. Okay, so now, 
anyway, I'm doing the radicals. Uh, okay, we had the floor. Okay, I was stating that you can't, okay, you can't use what you see because... I mean, you can close your eyes, okay? So, and nobody can do that. I know I took dance before. You can't go by what's on the floor. Unless you can say, just don't go here. Don't go past this line. But you can't work the dance with that, okay? Um, so you need space, okay? So we need space. So um, in order to do it, we need radicals, okay? The, the lowest, I mean, the radical in which space that we use is going to be two squared. And that point is killing me, but I'm gonna keep it going. Okay, so, so we need space and we're in a radical four, but the radical four is not on the floor. The radical floor, the radical is up here, okay? It's like two squared. Okay, this is what, I, I knew it was gonna come to me. Okay, so we have sine, I was going back, you can follow, this is the way it goes. You have to be able to do things like this. We have squared, we have um, a language, that when we speak, we can draw. You, when you draw something, you draw something here and you repetitive, okay? And you can draw this and draw the same thing, draw the same thing and draw the same thing. We could do the same thing with speech. Um, when I say corner, corner, if I say corner, 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 or I, I could just say corner, 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 corner. Four corners is four squared, okay? Though that's gonna be what we have in our mind, okay? That's gonna be the function we use. In, we're gonna use that, and inside that we'll do the function. But the four squared that we already made, once you, okay, when we say four squared, we make it, okay? Like I say, when I say I'm um, two squared, I have to make corner, 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 corner. Once I've made it, I have, um, I have four radical four, okay? And you wondered, why did I do this in algebra? Well, it's very important. You can actually, we're living it now. So if I say two squared, you have to make two squared, which is corner, 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 corner. And you can go the other way if I say, corner, 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 that means that it's gonna go this way, corner, 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 or else I could go corner, corner, and then, okay, corner, 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 which means corner, 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 corner. So that's what we're gonna start, we're gonna use things like that, and that would be called language drawing, okay? So we have corner, 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 which is a radical four. And that's our basic floor that we're going to use. That took a long time, okay? But the floor is not what you see. You can't draw four squares, okay? You have to do, you have to have, you have to have four squared here. Whatever happens inside the four squared is called the function, like we did in the former ones. Notice too, that when we had the radical 25 or five squared, I never made it through, okay? Because I started processing. And you process, whenever you continually do something, like the same thing, your mind most likely goes into a process. Well, we did so many things of the same thing. I processed, started processing the information to whereas that tells me I just can't tell you it, I have to become it for you 
in order for you to understand what's going on. And now it's going into 34, but this is very important. So now we have radical, radical four, okay? Or it's like a square root, if I'm, if I'm doing it the wrong way, which I'm sure I'm not, we have um, square root and then we got a four in there. I told you about the numbers, there's no numbers. Um, uh, and that's what our floor is. That's our basic home base, okay? The reason why I say it's our basic home base, because we move with that all the time. Okay, so we have radical four, and then the radical inside. Now I can take the radical four, and I can move in a floor that I build with five square. But we're not going to use five square. We're going to move inside. The radical four is going to move inside the radical nine. Okay, so it's the radical nine. Which is, in order to build radical nine, we need, um, we need three squared. Three times three is nine. Okay, but we don't use numbers, but remember. Okay, three times three is nine. But I'm taking radical four and I'm moving. And remember, radical four is with me all the time. The reason why it's radical four, because I need space to move. So I'm, my um, quadrant is in two of the boxes. Remember, we don't use numbers. And um, my, it's in two of the boxes, or ah uh ah. -uh. I'm also going to help you by not using the number also. Ah uh ah. -uh. And I have a ah uh ah -uh here. Okay? I also have a corner corner here, and I have a corner corner here, which is on the floor. Okay? But I walk around with this floor. So you have your own floor now. No matter where you go, you have your floor. Okay? And then you're walking inside another radical. Okay? So, <clears throat> let's see if I can walk. So I can, something I couldn't do before, okay? which I can do now, and I'm still processing. I don't know how many I can do with still processing. Um, so I'm in radical four, okay? If I go like this, I'm still, I did a function, and I'm still in radical four, okay? So if I can go like this, I'm in radical four. I'm still in radical four. I own my radical four, because in order to have a quadrant, you need space, which is from the back too, okay? So, in order for me to, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go complete the square of, the square of three, or I'm gonna complete radical, the square of three, which equals radical nine, okay? And I'm doing it in my mind with function, okay? I'm inside a function, it's a function, that's a function, okay? And then that's a function, okay? Mm, okay, no, I'm gonna do it this way. Yeah, I think you can see me, right? Okay. Okay, I think I can do it. I'm trying to do it. Okay, but I gotta do it. I gotta do the. I gotta. I'm in the. I'm going to show you how that I can do it because I can never do it. I couldn't do it. I should be able to do it now, okay? So right now I'm in the center center. I have um, radical four and I'm moving inside and it's in my mind. I'm moving inside radical, radical nine, okay? So, all right.
Okay, so I did it. Okay, it's something I couldn't do, but I did it. But there's one thing that I did, okay? When you're in a radical, because I have my, um, how can I say? I have my radical that I'm working with. I can move the floor, okay? I mean, because I had this right here, but I moved the floor. I moved the, oh no, I moved the radical nine. So if I'm in radical four, you can move nine, okay? I hope you understand that, okay? So anyway, we have a space now. So now we're gonna get, this is finished, and we're gonna get into part of the dance, the Michael Jackson Thriller Dance. Notice, before we could do big sections, now it's condensing because we know so much information that's happening internally. So, we're at the park. I remember when we were here, okay? And then we went up to here, okay? So, let's see what happens. We have a measurement that we have to do, okay? So, I'm basically gonna start here, okay? Right here. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna start here, like go up. Now, the, another measurement that we have is with the, these two tools. We have a tool on the natural quadrant and a tool on the other quadrant. Now, what I'm saying is that we have hydrogen X. Another thing too is hydrogen X works along with weight. So we're gonna transfer it from saying hydrogen X this time because we have weight, I mean, not weight, we have force, 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 speed, and direction. Force, speed, and direction. We're gonna call it the weight force. Okay, force, speed, and direction is one, okay, what's messing me up is that I, I think I have to explain, but I don't have to explain because this is the fourth year, okay? So, we're gonna change, no, we, we'll, we'll still call it hydrogen X, okay? But I wanted to say that hydrogen X is doing the direction. So the direction and hydrogen X are one. But hydrogen X, oh, but um, because force speed, and we have one tape behind, force speed and direction goes together. They're all one. It's in the back. Okay, so, but because we're one, we can use, um, how can I say, we concentrate one to where one is more visible than the other ones. So I'm going to make direction vis visible. So we have to go up to this and we're using the balls, okay, and I'm going to show you, we're going to go up to the ball, okay, in the I'm going to show you that, but I'm not going to get so much into it because that's more advanced. So from here, we're in the between quadrant. We're going to go up now, going up. The, um, the hydrogen X is lifting, okay? And it's lifting here I'm, because we haven't did any of this. I'm just going to have to just say this. It's lifting this part of the tool, okay? Then it's gonna to go to this part of the tool, and then it's gonna end here to where I have the hydrogen X in a ball, okay? So now, okay, and I'm also the control, okay? The control, I can say synonymous right now, the control with the hydrogen X. Now it's going toward the balls, okay? Now it's lifting, it's going up into the balls and we're calling these balls for now, okay? Until it makes it into these balls, okay? The ball here and the ball here, okay? And then I'm gonna bring it down and it's gonna go, and it goes all the way up until it's inside the story. Now it's inside the story now. Um, 
I don't want to say control yet because that would make it really complicated. So for now, we're calling hydrogen X, okay? Because we got two here. The control is just one thing. And that comes with, we studied about that, but we're not gonna put it in this lesson. So we're doing this part of the dance and we're going up. And this, I gotta finish this really quick. From the, the balls here, then we're bringing the hydrogen X back to us until it gets into back into the story. Okay, now we're going to, okay, now remember we're in the, um, the, um, four, we're in, a, we have our quadrant that we're in. We're in a quadrant, but we're in a radical four. We have a radical four, okay, wherever we go. So we're going to move, we know we're here, here, we're going to go, we're moving inside radical nine. So we got one and we have this one, okay? So we have, we're in the center of radical nine, which means we just have that more to go, okay? So we're in another part of radical nine, okay? Okay, so let's just keep that together, okay? Uh, it's bringing up something else, but I'm trying to brush it, brush it off. Okay, so then we're gonna go back so we actually have, um, I, I want to explain something to you, but I'm going to leave a hole in it. I know some people see it, but I'm going to leave that hole there because it's going to come up later on. So now we're just going to put our concentration on, on radical nine or nine squared. So we have this and we're going to go over one and two into this side of radical nine. And remember, radical nine is up here, okay? And then we're gonna slide this one back using the tension in the other quadrant, okay? And then once we make it here, we're gonna go in between, okay? We're gonna go in between, and then we're going to go to an uh, in-between quadrant, from the in-between quadrant, we're going to um, um, go over to the other quadrant, okay? Take the control and bring it up and bring it down and take the, when we bring it down, we're gonna take the um, hydrogen X and bring it up to the story, from the story, after the story, we're gonna bring it up to the addict here, and then move this and move this. These are things we haven't talked about, so I'm not gonna put so much into it, but you have to be careful. On the things that we don't talk about, be careful, okay? And then we're gonna go back over, remember? So now we're gonna go back to the center of Radical nine. Okay. Uh, okay. And do it again. Okay. Let's see if we could just do it. Okay. And, okay. So the whole thing would be is to bring the hydrogen X up. You have to feel it go all the way up until it makes the ball. Come, I mean, and then, and then come back down, okay? Keep the balls, transfer to the other quadrant, then go over to, uh, go over to the other quadrant, the other quadrant in radical five, in radical nine, okay? And then use the tension here to, move, um, to move the control, okay, up to here. And then take the hydrogen X, bounce it up, and then move this up here, and then start it back over. So I'm gonna see if I can make the dance with it because I'm gonna put it on the short, and then that's gonna end the class, okay? Okay, let's see, see if I could, because I'm doing this for the clock, for this, 
short now, okay? So let's do this now. This is for the short. Thank you very much. Can't wait to see you next time.